रेडियो ऑल वन सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री एफ एम गुड मॉर्निंग मेरा नाम है अनिरुद्ध आप सुन रहे हैं रेड कार्पेट हर शनिवार को रेड कार्पेट आप सुनते हैं सुबह दस से ग्यारह के बीच में एक ऐसा शो जो बात करता है कुछ ऐसे लोगों से जिन्होंने जिंदगी में एक मकाम हासिल किया है वी स्पीक टू सक्सेसफुल एक्सपैट्स कथरीज बिजनेस लीडर्स थॉट लीडर्स एंड स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन एंड आर्टिस्ट जिनको सुन के बहुत कुछ सीखने मिलता है एंड आज शो पर एक बहुत ही खास शख्स रिचर्ड बेंटली एक ब्रिटिश फोटोग्राफर है जो कतर में अब रहते हैं एंड ही इज रेसिडेंट ऑफ कतर फॉर द पास्ट फ्यू इयर्स रिचर्ड को हमने स्टूडियो में बुलाया था उनका एक एग्जीबिशन भी था कटारा में कुछ दिन पहले कॉल्ड डेजर्ट रोज जिसके बारे में भी हमने बात की एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट बहुत सारी दूसरी बातें की हमने रिचर्ड से अबाउट हिज फोटोग्राफी अबाउट हिज लाइफ इन दोहा रिचर्ड से क्या बातें हुई आज आप सुन रहे हैं Radio Olive Park. Morning Richard, how are you? Well, you know, I'd like to say I'm tired, but you guys are up early every morning, so I'm fine, thanks. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> Great. First of all, welcome to the studios. How are you finding it? Well, what can I say? Thanks so much for inviting me. You Great. walk in here and the colors just wake you up. It's yeah. orange, it's lime, you know. All I want to say is do you been that black as well? Yeah. There you go. There you go. In fact, Richard was on Radio Olive uh, a week back as well. Unki ek exhibition chal rahi thi Desert Rose at Katara Exhibition 2018. Uh, Richard ke bare mein baat karenge. Unki photography ke bare mein bhi baat karenge. Richard, let's start with your journey. How did your career start? You were not a photographer initially. You picked up camera a bit later. Yeah, I did, you know. Um my dad had a an old Well, it wasn't old at the time. It was an 8mm yeah. film camera. So as a boy, I used to create some stop motion films on the back garden, wow. you know. And we had a box brownie and uh, I enjoyed playing around with that. And then when I was at college and I studied art, my dad lent me uh, his film camera and right. I took photographs with that. And then many years passed by and I first picked up a digital camera back in 2010. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm never taking a photography course in my life. Right. um but i thought it was time to you know get back into it right you got into radio television for a few years you've trained journalists uh, you worked with bbc as well yeah. some other media houses yeah um how did that transition happen it's a great question you know um i've spent most of my career helping other people to be creative right right you're you're a radio host and yeah. you use certain yeah. technologies to to create your show absolutely and i spent much of my uh, career working in hollywood and in london Yeah. working on feature films and documentaries and and trailers and dramas lovely and enabling people to be creative and i thought well you know it's about time i enabled myself to be creative as right. well and right. turned it on its head right how did the journey to doha happen you've uh, been around the world as you mentioned earlier as well yeah so you're right 45 countries um we have worked and travel to I was on a plane every week and it was getting a little bit tiresome to be You honest, have a bag so. for your passports right <laughs> Exactly <laughs> yeah I do several passports have been yeah. you know fully filled up with with stamps Right So I was on a project out here working with one of the uh, the channels TV channels Right and that TV channel Al Jazeera Media Network had, had acquired some technology from a company that I used to work for All right um, as part of their production environment so they asked if I would join them as an internal media consultant and that's what I've been doing ever since it's a great great place to work yeah lots I'm of sure. opportunity lots of technology and some great people yeah awesome let's talk about photography now what do you love the most shooting in Qatar ooh that's a great question i mean yeah. the great thing about Qatar is it has this amazing skyline um but a skyline with blue skies every day is something you can capture 365 days of the year True. a skyline with clouds now that's a different yeah. matter you know yeah. we get about 6 cm of rainfall every year here yeah. in Qatar you know so what i do is i watch the weather forecast yeah uh, and then you know with a laser vision get up early in the morning <laughs> and sort uh, of a storm chaser are you <laughs> exactly you know the storm chaser of qatar that could be my new name and you know very often i'll drive down to the corniche or somewhere i know i'm going to get a great shot from and i'll sit in the car and yeah. i'll wait and i'll wait and i'll wait and a bit like being a fisherman sometimes i go home empty handed yeah that's true yeah i go home have my breakfast cry into my coffee and then go and try again the next day yeah yeah no of course you got to be there you never know when the moment happens that's one thing about photographers you got to wait and you got to be patient it's part of it you know some people say what makes a great photography well a photographer should i say and and it's about being persistent it's about taking the chances it's not about which camera you own not true that. at all true that not at all it's yeah. about being in the right time at the right you know right yeah. place there's something about the smartphone that gives you that edge of becoming a photographer you have filters in your hand right away then and there mm. camera versus the phone what do you think It's a great question, you know. I mean, 
10, 15 years ago, we didn't have these devices. Yeah. And you had to shell out a ton of cash to buy, yeah. let's say, you know, a proper camera, right? Expensive stuff. <laughs> Very expensive, you know. And, and these days, you know, photography has been democratized. Everybody has a camera. Yes. And, and, you know, the likes of Instagram and Facebook and, and other social media sites have enabled us to showcase our work and to see the world in yeah. a way we haven't been able to before. True. Um, does a phone camera make a photographer? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. It does. Um, in fact, many smartphones these days can record pictures at higher megapixel counts than some of the DSLR professional cameras can. Yeah, yeah. So the main thing really where, where the cameras in the phones fall down are the lens choices. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the fact that you know, many smartphones, especially the very new new ones, they'll use a specific kind of artificial intelligence called machine learning, uh, where the algorithm used in the technology is trained to recognize what a human face looks like. Yeah. So that allows the camera then to take a photograph and blur out the background. Yeah. And we call that bokeh in yeah. photography. It's very... The most beloved... <laughs> beloved bokeh, which yeah. in, in Japanese means fuzziness. Yeah. And if you use a professional DSLR, that's done by using a, you know, a, a small uh, f-stop number like f-stop f1.2. Number, yeah. So the aperture or the opening on the lens is very wide and that creates you that shallow depth of field. That's true. Ultimately, it's the message that matters through the uh, photo, you know, be it the device at a point doesn't matter. That's right. Uh, that's definitely there. But you've been doing commercial work as well. Yeah. And for that, you need uh, uh, you need a device. You need like a proper commercial You need device. something, you know, if you're doing professional work, you need something that is going to be not just professional looking, but above all, reliable. Yeah. You know, many cameras these days can be connected with Bluetooth yeah. or with Wi-Fi, and they can be controlled via a phone, a phone or yeah. a tablet. Yeah. What happens if your phone dies? Yeah. What happens if you lose connectivity? True that. You can't deliver them to the client. Yeah. So I'm a big fan of using good old-fashioned cables. Yeah. You know, connected <laughs> into the side of the camera, and they're not going to fall out. And I know I have full control over the camera. Right. Right. Lovely. So what's um, your device right now? What camera are you using? Well, to me, the camera doesn't matter. But yeah. I'm historically shot with Canon cameras. Okay. And also with Sony cameras, and sometimes with Nikon. Lovely. But it depends very much on what I'm shooting. So, for mm. example, if I want to do photography in very low light conditions, mm. I need a camera that's going to be very sensitive to light and right. not give me a lot of noise. So that's Sony? So I might use a Sony A7S. Yeah. A7S. S. S. But the, the, my camera of choice for the colors and for resolution in a studio type setup is a Canon 5D SR. The okay. R being for resolution. resolution it's over yeah. 50 megapixels. Wow. And the image quality is just unbelievable. Yeah, you know, The next step up would be to go to a medium format camera, but yeah. then you're talking mega bucks. You've you know. got to be gifted a Hasselblad now. <laughs> exactly. Please, anyone wants to give me used Hasselblad, I'm here. <laughs> Richard Bentley, photography.com and give website. And don't forget to check it out. Uh, you can know more about Richard as well on, on the website. Richard, uh, moving into the last part of the interview, it's not easy to be uh, an artist. There are multiple options. There are people who are as much talented probably or probably who can sell better, sell themselves better. And to move away from your home country, be in a different geography completely. Mm. Do's and don'ts for an artist. How do you excel as an artist? Uh, a message from you. Again, it's a really difficult question to ask and mm. I'm glad you've asked. You know, an artist to me is somebody who makes the viewer think, who makes a statement about society or a statement about the individual. So true. A great photograph doesn't necessarily equate to art. Yeah. It can be technically amazing. Yeah. It can use the best lenses and the best sensors in the world. And, yeah. you know, you can't help but stand and stare at it. Yeah. But does it make a statement? You know, maybe not, mm. or, or maybe, mm. depending on, you know, the viewpoint of the person looking at, at the photograph or the painting or the sculpture. You know, one of the great commercial successes of this world are the photographers like Peter Lick. Yeah. You know, uh, Czech parents, born and raised in Australia, moved mm. to the States, set up in Vegas, and, you know, has sold photographs for millions of dollars. Yeah. Now, he is a, a master of, um, you know, the commercial photography world. Yeah. He's very good at promoting himself. And I guess even if he wasn't a photographer, mm. he'd be a successful person because of the way he promotes himself and his business. He's a good marketer. Exactly. Yeah. And um, if you want to be successful in this world, you have to go out there and get it. You have yeah. to chase it. 
you haven't you know you have to give up your sleep yeah you have to work 18 hours or 20 hours a day to get to where you want to be it doesn't yeah. come easily yeah you know and so you know if you i follow will smith on instagram right yeah. the, the actor and very often he'll give motivational talks about people who want to be a great actor or an artist or whatever it may be and he says you know you've got to get out there and chase that dream right and that will be my my main message just yeah. get out there and keep going don't don't give up and be unique be yourself yeah, yeah. what's coming up now so uh, desert rose is over yeah we can still check out the photographs on your website right a hundred percent they're Lovely. on richardbendyphotography.com right now here's a twist right i'm going back to film ah, okay. so i've recently purchased a specialized camera all right um, first produced in 1958 Okay, and it shoots wow. on film. It has no light meter, so it's a, almost like relearning photography again. All the best. <laughs> so my my plan is to shoot the old Qatar using old technology, oh, beautiful. and to mash that together with the high resolution, high tech, fabulous version of Qatar. So that's that's so something coming down the line. You, you need assistance. Sure. <laughs> when there can you, you start? <laughs> Thank you so much, Richard. And it was an awesome, awesome experience to have a word with you. My pleasure. Thank you for having me on the radio. 106.3 FM, Radio Olive. Geo Bindas. Red carpet per aaj bas itna hi. Next time we're going to catch up again next Saturday, 10 to 11. Don't forget, sirf Radio Olive 106.3 FM per. Geo Bindas. Goodbye. Take care.